David Ligori here with Ligori Drag Racing, and I wanted to go over a little bit of fuel tech, tech information with you guys. And I wanted to go over the diagnostic panel and the engine simulator. The diagnostic panel shows you everything that's going on with the motorcycle or vehicle. You have all your uh, pressures, temperatures, you have your sensors, gives you the voltages for the sensors and the temperatures, pressures, uh, whether it's on or active or not. Have your outputs, blues, grays, yellows. And you can see that on blue nine, I have a gear shift output fault on there. And I'll go over that with the engine simulator, tell you what I got going on with that. So up at the top, if you go to tools and then click on engine simulator, it pops up a new pop-up window. And for the gear shift output, I have an RPM activated output on it. So right now, if I reach up and I hit the shift on button, you can see that it turned it on right there. It's not activating the solenoid. If I weren't to wire it this way, it would activate the solenoid and could possibly damage the transmission if there was air in the system. So with the motorcycle on at over a thousand RPMs, so we'll take it to 1500. You can see that my RPM activated output is active and my gear shift output no longer has a fault on it. So I'll reach up now and I'll hit the shift button and you can see it active. Now this bike is manually shifted so it doesn't have an auto shift built into it. Um, we can put it in and to test that, bring it up to whatever the engine RPM is and it would activate the solenoid. You would need to put it in the gear that you want to activate because each gear has a different kill time and it has a different engine RPM if you want it to be. So this bike has a shift light on the dashboard so i'll take you up to the dashboard and at 10,500 rpms the shift light will come on so i'll drag the rpm up and the shift light activates Now I'll test the fans. I have the fans coming on at a certain engine temperature and off at a certain engine temperature. So I'll drag this up. On and off. So it's an easy way to test the fans, making sure that they work at a certain temperature. Now I'll test the two-step function. So my two-step is set for 4,000 RPMs. So I'll take this down, 4,046. Throttle position at over 50% for a validated launch. And I'll activate the two-step. My line lock output is active. I'm using my line lock output to activate my mallet magnet. So pull that in and it holds. I have 1.080 in the delay box. And I'll come over here. And when I deactivate the two-step, it'll deactivate the line lock output 1.08 seconds later. And you should be able to hear the clutch lever also. There it goes. So here's a little bit of uh, engine simulator tech information for you guys. Uh, there's plenty more that you can do. You can test the boost solenoids and stuff off of manifold air pressure. Um, plenty of other things that you can do with the engine simulator.